So it's 4.09 in the morning and I just can't sleep. I was tossing and turning for a good hour or two. Um, and then I decided, well, what can I eat, you know? And I figured instead of coming down the stairs and snacking on something, I'm just going to cook some protein pancakes up. I figured if I've got spare time, instead of rushing my breakfast in the morning, I might as well come downstairs and cook up some pancakes. So make little hot cakes and have my egg on top. Enjoy it. I just realised I probably should have showed you the mixture. So I just put 60 gram of blended oats, um, 100 mils of almond milk, unsweetened almond milk, 100 mils of egg whites, um, a scoop of protein powder, and 100 grams of banana, and then just blended it up. And that's all you need. When this is ready, got my little hot cake attachment. So this is just like a toaster. You can get waffle attachments, pancake attachments. I'm going to use a pancake one, and it makes like little hot cakes. All right, the light just went green, which means it's ready. Boom! Look at that. Hot little pancakes. Give it a quick spray, chuck the next ones in there now. Alright, there we have it. I got my two sunny side up eggs on top of a couple of little pancakes. I got some more pancakes there ready to go. I'm gonna pour my PB2 sauce on there. Um, got some berries. Oh shit yeah. How good does that look? So this is like the, the maple syrup already in it. I made it a bit thicker today. Oh shit. I'm getting so excited. I'm trying to show you guys some of this goodness. Look at this. Dip it in the sauce. You got your egg yolk. Oh, banana. Stevia. Mmm. Alright. Quarter to five, and this is the saddest bit of my day because I've finished my breakfast. The pancakes are gone, and boy, did I enjoy that meal. So I'm just sitting here watching a little bit of Hodge Twins. I'm gonna head back up to sleep now. I've got to get up at. I was gonna get up at 5:30. You've got to get to work. I could probably get up at like quarter to six, have a quick shower, and then get to work by 6:30. So I could probably get like a good hour and a bit sleep more in. I reckon I'll KO straight away now because I've got a full stomach. So I'm going to wash the dishes and then I'm going to head up. Just as I thought, I was just falling asleep again. And the alarm went off. Quarter to six. First things first. Get some energy in ya. Quarter to six, off to work. Sun's up, feeling good, that Red Bull's kicking in, so time to start the day. Oh, what's going on guys, uh, it's quarter to eight, and I'm just about to start my workout. Um, took my pre-workout, got my minos ready. Was gonna have a meeting at eight o'clock, but it didn't go through, so I figured I might as well train before my next client. Get it out of the way, and then I'm gonna do cardio later tonight. Um, I was really contemplating doing cardio first this morning and then training later tonight like I did yesterday, get a few meals in me, but I think I'll put my training first and then worry about cardio later. Don't want to pre-exhaust my body so that then I'm too tired to train later. Training shoulders today and my shoulder injury is still pretty stiff, so I'm just going to make sure that I warm up properly. Just went on the foam roller. Oh, I loosened up my glutes and everything. My hammy's still pretty stiff today as well, waking up. Check where we're at. Some pretty good lighting here. Yeah. 
anyway. I'm hit these uh, presses. Rocking the Fly Knit Racers today. Probably one of my favourite pair of shoes. Just awesome colours and super comfy and light. Actually feels like you're wearing a shoe though. Not like some of the other Fly Knit ones. Just those sock ones. These are pretty good. And you get Fly Knit um, free runs as well. I haven't got those yet. Uh, just did my fourth set on the Smith Machine presses. My shoulders are burning because I did a double drop set. Oh, I'm gonna go hit the hammer strength incline presses now. You guys know the routine. It's all on the other vlogs. If you guys haven't watched my other vlogs and you want to see more training stuff, check them out. All right, guys, I just finished up on the. Uh, Incline hammer strength presses. Gonna start on the razors now, so hit the fronts first, then sides. Show you guys where I'm at. Feeling pretty good today, connecting well. Alright, probably hit 22s. See if I can set the camera up. Getting a little bit of blood into the front out now. Did a couple of sets of um, easy bar front raises. I did three sets just to try and target that section there. Alright, so it's 10 past 10, just finished training shoulders, feeling pretty good actually, I um, was connecting really well throughout all my presses, raises and all that, finished up doing some abs, about to eat this meal, got the chicken, rice and veg, um, i got a client coming in now so I'm going to train her and then head home, then I'll rest up a little bit, I'll probably do my hair removal today and then I'm going to go do cardio at about 3 o'clock. So I'm giving it a little bit of time for the body to rest and then I'm going to go do about 70 minutes of cardio um, and then I've got to go see my osteo later about 5 o'clock. So I want to get all my workouts and that done, go see my osteo and then just rest up tonight, um, be easing off the carbs after lunch. So basically it's just chicken and rice today for lunch and then it's just capsicums, fish, chicken, um, so no potatoes or anything like that. Um, that way my body will go into a calorie deficit and then I'll be able to just burn while I'm sleeping, you know, do the cardio, rest up, burn while I'm sleeping. I'll probably wake up at like 3, 4 a.m. again because I'll be so hungry. And then training hammies tomorrow. So yeah, hammies actually feeling a little bit tight after doing the deadlifts yesterday. But shoulder pulled up really good throughout that session, so I'm super happy for that. Um, yeah, I'll check in again later when I head home. Alright, got my chicken with the pasta sauce already on there. And then I just added the sweet chili sauce, a bit of cane pepper and salt. I'll stir this up, got my veggies in the microwave. Um, forgot to have my tablets again this morning because I ate breakfast at 4 a.m. Stir it up, have this, and then we're good. All right, this is the last bit of actual carbs for the day. I'm starting to slow down my eating so that I can enjoy it. Because the rest of the day is just protein and veg. 
There's a little bit of carbs in your capsicums in there, but it's not the same. You want rice and potatoes. But, you know, that's the best way to get rid of all the glycogen in your body. And then I'm going to go do cardio tonight, burn it all out. Hopefully put myself in a deficit overnight. And then I'll be burning fat while I'm sleeping. And then, boom, wake up that little bit leaner. And then I've got to do hammies, glutes, and calves tomorrow. So, that's going to be a big sesh. Could be the last one before the show, actually. But it's near the end of the week. And the show's on Friday. So, I don't think I'll have time to do it. Ooh, I just got home. I'm going to do a little bit of hair removal now. So, I'm getting my spray tan tomorrow. So, I want to make sure that I do all the hair removal and shit today. So, that my skin settles down a little bit by the time I get sprayed. Um, I'm going to use the Veet hair removal cream. Probably do a quick shave down first though because I find if you just put the V on top of long hair, it doesn't really work. Like you always miss bits and then you've got to shave it anyway. So if you shave down quickly first, then it just leaves like little hairs that it has to get rid of so they come out a lot easier. Yeah, that's the that's the thing. I've done a few comps and I know what works and what doesn't. That's what I'm going to do. Anyway, uploading the vlog now because it didn't work overnight. Um, and then, yeah. Alright, so I just got done doing the hair removal. I swear it adds 10% straight away. As soon as you get out of the shower, you're like, damn, I just shredded like an extra 10%. Not that great of lighting in here, but you know, you can see what I mean. Boom! Cooking up the next meals. Got my chicken mushrooms and uh, cherry tomatoes cooking away. I really didn't have much chicken left, it's only 180 grams raw, which will probably turn into about 120. So I might have to have some extra protein, I've got 200 grams of fish there, so that'll reduce as well. I'm going to chuck some capsicums, 420 grams in there, cook that up, so that'll be one dish, the fish and the capsicums, and this is another dish, I'm going to have chicken mushrooms and then just microwave veggies. So I'll chop this up and then I'll separate into containers and then show you guys the finished product. Uh, so, just a little trick. If you guys are steaming fish and you want to know if it's cooked or not, if you go like this and it falls apart, it's cooked. If it's still kind of rubbery and hard, it means it's not cooked yet. So that's pretty much done. I'm going to cook up the capsicums, throw that into a container for later. Then i just got to cook this up, make my little sauce, microwave veggies, boom. I found this in the cupboard last night, it's gravy. It's a light version. Um, let's have a look at the ingredients. Where is it? Alright, there we go. So it's got 18 calories per serving, basically. Serving size is a quarter of a cup. And it's got pretty much no protein, no fat. It's just carbs. I put a tablespoon of Gravox in there. Just a little bit of water. So that's how much I filled it up, you can see. And then I just stirred it up, and now, boom, pour it all up in there. This is the first time I've actually had this since I started dieting. But I just discovered that's really not that high in calories. It's quite good, so something a bit different to the sweet chilli sauce that I normally have. Mm. Alright, mix it up, add some salt, we're good. Alright, it's on 2 o'clock. I'm just going to go to Brighton Gym now. I'm going to do some cardio. Oh, first I've got to go Sapsar Rust, buy some stuff before I go to America. And then I'm going to get one of those six-pack meal bags and then head to the Brighton Gym to do cardio um, and see the osteo after that. So I just ducked into Sapsar Rust and got this uh, six-pack meal bag. they got a brand new store opened up on the Peen Highway. Come check it out. They full take care of you with the, the freebies as well. We've got a free shaker. We've got an Alcarnitine, 30 serves. I bought some amino energy as well. And they gave me a free little peanut butter chocolate bar. But yeah, how cool is this bag to take on the plane? Fits about three meals, your um, pills and whatnot, and a couple of shakers. Perfect little size. Happy with that. So now I can get rid of this ancient thing. It's my current meal bag from my nonnas and now I got this bad boy so much more compact as well sweet alright next stop is Brighton Fitness first just about to go do my cardio just quickly fixing up 
scoop of alpha cuts to fat burner. I usually take a scoop of this before I do cardio. It just heats you up and um, gives you a little bit of energy for it. Suppresses your appetite a little bit too, so you don't get too hungry afterwards. Um, and then I'm going to throw on my bike shorts, considering I just did hair removal. Last time I did that, um, did cardio afterwards and copped mad ingrowns all through the inside of my thighs. So put my bike shorts on just to prevent any ingrowns or rash from chafing. Mmm, that alpha cuts actually taste bloody good man, probably better than my aminos. It's got a real nice taste to it. What's that flavour? Strawberry flavour. I've got this cool, oh I didn't grab it. I've got a new flavour in the amino energy before, I'll show you guys later. Can't wait to try it, it was like strawberry lime or something? Something new, I don't know. I saw it and I was like, I have to try it. But I've got my grape amino energy here. Alright, let's go. Look at these bad boys. Nike Combat. I got these in Thailand. So comfy, man. Prevent you from chafing when you're doing them steps. So I'm going to be a bit of a hero and I'm just going to wear these on the cross trainer. Got my singlet to cover up the package, I guess. But just because I just got my strong wear shorts out of the wash, I can't be bothered washing them again. They're fresh. I want to get more sweaty just for one cardio session. So, what can you do? Right, guys, just finished doing my cardio. Had a quick shower. Burnt 750 cals. My hammies are fucking killing me. Oh, so I'm so glad I'm going to go see my osteo right now. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have done that. I was actually in a fair bit of pain. But I pushed through. Oh, feels good to have a hot shower at the gym. Yeah, so as I was saying, my hammies were real sore from doing deadlifts yesterday and legs the day before, so I was actually feeling a bit of pain as I was doing that. Um, if I didn't have an appointment booked tonight, I probably would have just stopped halfway and called it a night. Um, but yeah, I decided to just keep going. I burnt 750 cals. Probably one of the last cardio sessions I'm going to have to do. Might have to do one more. We'll see how we go. Beautiful. Just got home. Got my meal in the microwave. Can't wait to get into it. I'm going to make some of this new amino energy. I've got the new flavour. It's um, strawberry lime. So I'm going to have that as my drink. Try the new flavour to see what it tastes like. So wash it down with that, put the sweet chilli sauce in here, cayenne pepper, mix it up. Alright, I'm about to make a zucchini salad. That fish and capskin didn't really fill me up that much, so I'm going to make one of these zucchini salads. So I've got one large zucchini, a peeler, I'm just going to peel it up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, until it basically turns into little strands, and then just chop up the rest with the scissors, and then I'll add in some sauces, balsamic. Cherry tomatoes, and then we got a nice, clean, low-calorie salad that will fill my belly up. Just show you the halfway progress. I've just been peeling it, rotating it. This is what it's turning into. And then, mm. that's the final product. All right, put some balsamic vinegar and some salt, and then some of this Vietnamese, um, it's like spring roll sauce. It's just a little bit sweet, adds a bit of flavor, and it's got low cals. So Vietnamese spring rolls dipping sauce. Chuck that in there. I'll show you the calves. So it's just got 3.4 grams of carbs, no fat, no protein um, per serving. So it's pretty good for you. Throw that in there, mix it up, and you've got a nice little salad. So it's 8.12, and I've full hit a wall. I could go to sleep right now. I'm going to edit today's vlog, and then have my white omelette, and then probably go to bed. I've been up since like 4 a.m., so I'm pretty tired. Low carb day plus cardio. <sighs> Dreaming, mate. I'm already sleeping. <laughs> anyway, check in with you guys later. Club
being on some chill shit We go zero to a hundred nigga real quick They be on that rap to pay the bill shit And I don't feel that shit, not even a little bit